guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist and welcome to my studio. Today, guys, we will talk about Halloween. Today, we will talk about how you can create Halloween image in Adobe Photoshop on iPad. If you never worked with Photoshop on desktop or in Photoshop on iPad, this video is for you. So, guys, let's rock and roll. opened Adobe Photoshop on the iPad and currently I'm located on the home screen of Adobe Photoshop on iPad. We can create a new document uh, using many, many different ways, but today we will use import and open. I will tap on it and Photoshop will ask me, Victoria, where do you want to bring your file from? I know uh, where my background image are located at, so I will tap on files and here I have my image. Photoshop will open this image uh, in my um, in Photoshop on the iPad. So this image will be our background image. I downloaded and licensed uh, this image from Adobe Stock. You can use any image you like. Now I need to bring another image into my document. I will tap on the image icon and Photoshop will ask me where you want to bring this image from, from your photos in your camera roll from your Creative Cloud files, libraries, uh, Creative Cloud libraries or camera. I know where my file is, so I will tap on files. This file is located in my Creative Cloud um, files and I will tap on sign. Photoshop will open this image in the transform workspace because Photoshop is smart enough to understand if Victoria is bringing a new image into uh, her opened document, that, mean, that means Victoria probably will want to adjust, um, transform this image. And Photoshop is right. What I will do, I will um, bring size of this layer, this image up and I will reposition it somewhere here. Why Photoshop opened this image without the background? Because um, this image was a PSD file, Photoshop file, and Photoshop, of course, can understand that this is Photoshop file. So probably Victoria wants this image uh, designed without its background. Yes, I do. So after I'm happy with everything, I will tap done. Now I have beautiful sign in my scene, but this sign is screaming, oh, Victoria uh, placed me into this scene. Uh, I'm from another scene, I'm from another village. To uh, fix it, I will zoom in my document just like that. On the right side of my document and yours as well, you can see uh, in the middle, you can see all icons. Third icon from the top is a layer mask. I will tap on it and Photoshop will create a layer mask for me. I will switch to brush tool. You can use any brush, default Photoshop on iPad uh, brush set. You can use any brush you like. I will be using soft round brush. Uh, you can increase or decrease size of your brush and you can visually preview it. Also, you can uh, change opacity of your brush. M opacity of my brush is 100%. To preview a layer behind my um, sign layer, I will bring down visibility of this layer down and now I can preview bottom layer. This will help me to erase exact part of uh, my sign layer I want to erase just like this. And now after I'm happy with everything, I will bring visibility of this layer back and if I need, I can adjust it. Just like I'm doing right now. And I will um, zoom out my document. I will highlight sign a layer mask, a layer icon, not a layer mask icon, layer icon. And in the layer properties, I will um, add, tap on add clip adjustment and I will tap on brightness and contrast. And what I will do, I will bring down um, brightness of this sign, just like this. And Photoshop is smart enough to understand that I would like to add adjustment um, only to the layer below my adjustment layer, only to the sign, not to my background. I will tap on my background layer. I will tap on my um, image icon again, 
and I will tap on files again. Here I have this pumpkin. I will tap on it in Photoshop once again. Opened my image uh, in uh, the tra transform uh, workspace where I can adjust, transform my um, layer in the way I like. I'm scaling sides of this layer down, maybe a little bit like this. I will reposition this layer and I will tap done. Now, definitely guys, I need to remove this white background. To do so, long press on the selection tool and tap on select subject. Photoshop will select my pumpkin for me. And after Photoshop will select my pumpkin for me, Photoshop will display properties for uh, this selection for me. Because I would like to remove mask out this white background, I will tap on mask and this is only what I needed to do. I will switch to the move tool and I will move my layer in a way I like, just like that. But what I would like to do, I would like to rotate my pumpkin. To do so, I will tap on transform tool and I will rotate it just like that, slightly. And I will tap down. And here I have same, same thing we had in our sign layer. I would like to make my pumpkin more natural, looking more natural to this scene. I will add Photoshop, um, when Photoshop removed a white background from this pumpkin layer, Photoshop creates a new uh, layer mask, so I don't need to create another layer mask. What I need to do, to be double sure, I will tap on this uh, layer mask to be sure I have selected layer mask, not image icon. I will switch to my brush tool with black color. I will bring down visibility of my pumpkin layer to preview layer below my pumpkin. And I will erase some part of my pumpkin, just like that. After I erase it and I'm happy with everything, I will bring down opacity, bring up opacity of my pumpkin layer. And if I need, I will adjust it just like that using same way guys same way i will um paint out some part of my pumpkin around it just because i'm sorry bring it back just because um my uh pumpkin uh, positioned on top of um uh this dirt and definitely um this pumpkin will have will not have this perfect shape so i'm fixing it just because i don't want my pumpkin will scream oh we are, we are i am from another village no my pumpkin is from this village so now i'm happy with um my pumpkin and everything like this i need to change a color of my pumpkin my pumpkin is screaming with all bright colors in dark halloween scene to do so, I will highlight my pumpkin layer icon, not layer mask, and I will tap on add clipped adjustment. Here, I will tap on a brightness contrast and I will bring brightness of my pumpkin down, just like that. Look at this. Now we have splash of light and we preserved Halloween feeling in our document. Now I'm happy with everything. I would like to merge all layers together. To do so, I will highlight my background layer and I will ask Photoshop to merge visible, just like that. Definitely, I want to make my image more spooky looking. To do so, I will tap on Add Clip Adjustment. I will tap on Exposure and I will bring Exposure down, just like that. Not too much, guys, just a little bit. And now, this is our Halloween image. The last step in our creation is, I will tap on text tool. After that, I will tap anywhere in my image. And Photoshop will create a simple text and Photoshop will highlight this text for me because Photoshop knows I will change this text. And I will text it to pumpkin, just like that. After I change my text to any text I like, double click to select it and i can adjust my text first of all i will um, enable all caps just like that i will change color i can use any color or i can use color based on my uh, image 
to do so i will tap on um uh, color picker and i position my uh, color picker icon on top of my pumpkin i would like to pick color from just like this and now i will tap on uh, the move tool and i will position my pumpkin on top of my sign i like it but i need to rotate my uh, text a little bit to do so i will tap on transform tool and i will slightly rotate my pumpkin text just like that guys you can uh, do anything you like because we are talking about um halloween a village i would like to add um um strike through feature so i will enable this feature and look at this it's kind of spooky halloween um also i'm sorry guys a low battery also what i would like to do i will bring down opacity of this layer just like that and this is our image guys look at this just in a few minutes we have created this spooky halloween uh, image you can add some text you can bring more details into your um creation it's up to you but if you never worked with photoshop before on desktop on on ipad this is for you just with two extra assets with pumpkin and um sign uh we have created this beautiful spooky elegant image halloween image so guys thank you so much if you have any questions as always just let me know i'm here for you if you want me to record something specific just let me know what i would like to say is thank you so much for all your support super appreciated i love you guys i will see you very 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 soon bye